Hello guys and welcome to another Hacker Rank video. Today we're going to be solving Apple and Orange. The description for this problem is fairly large. So what I'm going to do is use the diagram to actually explain the problem. And then we're going to write some code for it. So we're given an apple tree and the position for the apple tree. And then we're given the orange tree and the position for the orange tree. So for the apple tree, it's going to be A. And for the orange tree, it's going to be B. We're then given S and T, which is a segment. Then we need to check to see when the orange falls, if it lies within this segment. We do the same thing for Apple. So how do we even calculate the distance? Well, we're given an array of positions for the Apple. So what we need to do is for the, at least for the Apple tree, we take A plus that distance and check to see if it's within S and T. And if it is, then we increment Apples. And then we do the same logic for oranges. So if we go down here, or if you look at this part right here, you should tell what each variable in the function function is or method in this case. So we're given S and we're given T. So remember S, is, S and T is a segment and then A is the position of the apple tree and B is that for the um, orange tree. And then we're given the positions for the apple trees and that for the orange trees. So we need to go ahead and write some algorithm for this. And I haven't created one. Um, all I did was scribble this problem on a whiteboard and within a few minutes, it was actually done. But I like to actually create the code on um, YouTube, a live, where I just wanna record the video. So if I make mistakes, it's a learning process for everybody. Um, there's no perfect programmer out there and nobody knows everything. So, um, so we need to go ahead and keep some variables. We need one for at least the apples and one for the oranges. So let's go ahead and create some variables for that. And do m apples. Uh, set this to zero and um, oranges. And let's set this to zero. Um, you know what? So in most cases, we need two for loops for this because we have to go through over the apples and the oranges. We don't know if the lens are the same. Uh, I think we can make a walk around around that where we, yeah, let's do a walk around around that. So let's do a final int, let's do uh, apples equals um, apples dot lens. And let's do one for oranges. Do oranges. That equals oranges dot length. And let's get, we need to get the maximum for that. So we can, I want to consolidate this inside one loop and not two loops. Um, so let's create a variable called M. Uh, Let's just make this final and uh, length, and let's make this the math dot max um, apples and oranges. Okay. So now you can loop over this. I'm gonna say and i equals zero. I is less than length um, plus plus I. All right, so um, what we need, we also need a distance variable. So let's create one up top. Let's call this one distance. Yeah, that's fine. I think that should work. All right. Um, so what we want to do is we want to be able to do apples and oranges in here. So let's say that if I is less than apples, which is just the number of apples in the array, then let's perform some logic. And then we're going to do the same thing for um, oranges. The thing is, that I don't know which array is bigger. So uh, we need to go ahead and check the um, range for that. Uh, so 
in this case, if there are apples, the distance is going to be, so let's say distance, it's going to equal a plus apples. So we'll use the current height of the apple we're looking at. And if uh, the distance is greater or equal to s and uh, distance is less than or equal to t, then we know that we are within that segment and we can increment apple, uh, apple. so we'll say m uh, apples. So we're going to, all right, and that should take care of the apples part. And we can pretty much service this here because it's the same logic for oranges, except that for the distance, we, it has to change. Um, let's leave that. So here we got to do from the position of the orange tree, right? And then we're going to go ahead and change this to M oranges. And what we need to do is print out apple and oranges on its own line. So in this case, we can do the system uh, out dot print F. Passes some specifiers here. V percent D percent N percent D percent N and let's pass in M apples and M oranges. I think we should take care of the problem. I want to just make sure that uh, this is right. And uh, it shouldn't be apples, but we're using the oranges height here or um, locations. All right. So, what happens when you copy and paste? You always got to make sure you copy and paste the right things. Um, yeah, I think this should be it. All right, let's go ahead and run this. And if there are any errors, then we have to fix them. And there are none. Let's submit. Alright guys, this will be it for this problem. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.